All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on some pictures that have been released, kind of giving my thoughts on the line as well, for DC Collectibles new, to be released later on this year, Batman the Animated Series and the New Adventures action figure line. Hell yes. All right, good stuff. So I'll put the link in the description for Toy News Eye so you guys can go ahead and check out all these different pictures of the different uh, figures in the first two series or the first two waves of the line. It looks absolutely incredible. Now, earlier on, we saw the release of this one right here, which is the Batman. I mean, it makes sense. You're going to release a Batman line in the first wave of the first series. You're going to have a Batman figure. So here is a picture of the New Adventures Batman. Now, this isn't the animated series Batman. I mean, well, it kind of is. But basically, Batman the Animated Series was the first, I believe it was two seasons. And then Batman the New Adventures, the New Adventures of Batman, New Adventures of Batman and Robin, um, that was the uh, later part of it. I think it was another two seasons, three seasons, something like that. Um, but the seasons don't really matter because they're they made so many episodes in them. Some of them are more like two seasons. So anyway, the show was amazing. The show was fantastic. Let's just get that out of the way. It's probably the best superhero cartoon of all time ever created. Uh, I'll go on a limb and say that it's just absolutely crazy how good it was. And I am so glad to see that a company is actually going to be making some good modern day action figures based on that cartoon because it was the bomb. These figures also are sick. They are absolutely amazing. Look at this Batman figure. He's got everything you'd want. He's basically the perfect design, like he just walked right off the screen uh, of the TV series, The New Adventures of Batman. And uh, we can see uh, this was also used in Justice League, so it also applies to that as well. And you can see he's got tons of articulation. Yes, the cape may hinder it a little bit, but you do have the cuts there at least, so I'm sure you'll be able to get him in some dope poses anyway. And if they can make the, um, the cape maybe out of a more pliable material, I don't think it will hinder it all that much. But for the look, that's the way the character looked in the cartoon series. So that's the way the figure is going to look. It looks stellar. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the Catwoman, which is from um, Batman the Animated Series. So this one's from the first series. And they've said eventually if the line's popular, they're going to be making a Batman from the Animated Series as well, too. It makes sense. Um, and it sounds like they're kind of going with which designs are more popular from one or the other. For example, the Catwoman from this was more popular than the Catwoman from the New Adventures, which is like all black, I think. Um, so people, you know, people would be more interested, they think, of buying this one. And I agree with them. I would I would have to go with that. I've seen many customs of this one over the years for DC Universe Catwoman figures. I almost bought one, actually. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't because look at this thing. It's it's perfect. Uh, again, just like the Batman, like it just walked right out of an episode. And there it is. Uh, the sculpt's basically perfect. Uh, it looks exactly like her in the cartoon series. Hopefully she'll have a whip, maybe Isis or something like that. And um, yeah, it just looks, it looks incredible, absolutely incredible. And we can see that it's got some good articulation there at the top of the hips and uh, all around. It just looks like it's got really good articulation. Another absolutely killer figure to get this line started up. Next, the Joker design figure. I believe this one's coming out in the second wave. Man, very, very cool. Batman the Animated Series Joker, by the way. Um, because the, the New Adventures was a little bit of a different design, color scheme, and, and things like that. His eyes looked weird. They, they were like black with like beady white, I think. Um, yeah, or yeah, like, yeah, the eyes were really weird in uh, New Adventures. But anyway, um, I really like the design of this one. The only thing with this one is, now, I, I don't mean to be complaining or griping or anything like that. He just looks a little bulky to me. That's the only thing. He looks a little bit... A little bit thick for a Joker. Now I know the animated series Joker was a little bit thick, but um, I guess we'll have to see him next to next to Batman to kind of see, you know, in terms of scale how big he is. But I'm just a little bit worried that this one might be a little bit too heavy in the upper torso and in the shoulders. Uh, I never really think of Joker as a bodybuilder, and this one kind of looks a little bit too bodybuilder-ish to me. Now I know that's the art style. Some people, I guarantee somebody's going to say. That's, the, that's Bruce Tim art style. I know that. But I'm just saying it's a little big. You know, not not too much, but maybe just a little bit big. But still, nevertheless, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Um, 
amazing, really cool, really, really cool. And then we have the Batman the Animated Series, uh, Robin. <laughs> this one's goofy. Uh, this one's goofy. Um, but I, I do, I, like, I remember him in the episodes looking just like that, especially the head. The only thing with this one for me is the arms look a little bit long. Um, so I don't know, I don't know what's up with that or if they actually look like that in the cartoon. I don't think they look like that in the cartoon. But anyway, um, it's pretty close. You know, the, this line's pretty amazing overall, as you, as you guys have seen so far. So uh, maybe a few of them will have little things that might not be exactly accurate. This one's, for me, it's just the arms look a little long. That's all. Kind of monkey arms, sort of. But it's still cool. Don't get me wrong. It's still cool. And man, this one looks awesome. The Mr. Freeze from the New Adventures. The one where his dome comes out and he turns into a spider. <laughs> uh, I remember some of the, uh, the episodes with him. I think there was one called Cold Heart, something Cold Heart. Um, and it was, oh man, just, uh, about Moira and everything. And it, oh, you know, th there's so many awesome episodes from this show, man. And I don't know, there's something about this one. Whereas the Joker is the most iconic Batman villain. There's something about this figure right here for the Mr. Freeze from that series that really captures that character. I don't know. There's, there's something about it. it maybe it's because it's so close. Maybe it's because this one is is like spot on. Uh, I'm assuming they're they're not showing anything with their accessories yet. I'm assuming he's going to have his freeze gun. It w yeah, if he's going to, they have to include his freeze gun. I, I assume they would. So, but but this one might be my favorite out of the whole set. He just looks perfect. And then we have the new adventures Poison Ivy, which is also cool. No news yet on a Harley Quinn, but I mean they can only release so many in the first two waves. So hopefully this is a success and maybe we can we get a Poison Ivy and a Harley Quinn to go side by side. Because I remember some episodes. Remember the episode where they took uh, Bruce Wayne shopping? <laughs> they like uh, she used her, you know, her her poison uh, mind control kiss or whatever, and then they made they made him take them like her and Harley shopping. <laughs> I don't know why, I just remember some of these goofy episodes. But anyway, the figure looks great. Uh, I like the tones, I like the color, I like the stylized Bruce Tim look of it. And um, I, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say. It looks small. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of short. So it's pretty close. It's pretty close to the animated series or the new adventures, I mean. So it's cool. And next we have Two-Face, which uh, this one's really close, man. This one is like exactly how it looks in the cartoon even where it's got that i always thought the two-face had this weird like the bruce tim style of him in the animated series new adventures he's got this weird um v thing where his legs come down to a point at the at the bottom where the feet are it, it's really weird it comes down like a big v and um, this figure's got it it's got that exactly like that's what he looks like in the show exactly pretty much perfect so uh, this one's dope i mean uh, really really cool because it looks so close uh, whenever one is like that close, even if, you know, obviously the Joker is a bigger villain than Two-Face. But um, I, I honestly would say that I think the figure for Two-Face is closer to what he looked like in the series than the Joker's is. And finally, to wrap it up, we have the last one that's been announced so far, and that is of Man Bat, which is, uh, he's kind of goofy. <laughs> he's kind of goofy looking. Uh, there is a DC uh, Universe or, or DC Superheroes Man Bat that you can get that's out there. It's pretty, actually, it's not that rare nowadays, and it's got the wings spread. So for this one, they opted to go for kind of where the wings are down and all that. Uh, I'm just worried about how the articulation is going to be on this one. Uh, the shoulders look really bulky. I don't know how they're going to move up and how they're going to shift and that kind of stuff. He's He looks, th this one looks clo the closest to like a statue based on, you know, how the characters, the design of the character. It's just, it, he doesn't look to me like he's going to have much articulation, but um, nevertheless, he's still pretty cool. I prefer to have a Harley Quinn or somebody else like that, but you know, it's it's not bad. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. He was in, I think the first episode of the animated series was uh, Man Bat. I think so. So uh, it makes sense they would go for him. makes sense they would put him in there. So anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on the Batman, the animated series, and new adventures combined um, action figure uh, set that DC Collectibles is uh, releasing. I hope it's successful. I'm sure it will be. It looks amazing, man. I can't be... Am I the only one out there? Am I the only one out there that's like, look at these things. These are awesome. <laughs> I can't be. I can't believe Mattel didn't pick up on this sooner or somebody didn't pick up on this sooner and be like, we have to release the designs that were used in that show because that show was just legendary. Um, and yeah, it's like DC Collectibles is smart enough. They realized, hey, we've got, we've got some potential here where we could make an amazing collection of figures, a great figure line. 
and that's what they're doing. So these are going to be hitting late this year. Uh, I believe it's third, third and fourth quarter. Um, so look for them October, November, December, as long as they don't get pushed back, that type of time range. Um, again, I'll put the link in the description from Big Bad Toy Store if you guys want to uh, see them. They're about $22 US each. And um, the first uh, wave is going to include Batman... Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, and Two-Face. And the second wave will be Joker, Man, Bat, Robin, and Poison Ivy. So absolutely cannot go wrong. I think these things are incredible. Absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trav, as always, saying peace.